What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Cups of Sagittarius, everybody in between. Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and the rest. Okay, so I received this channeling, and then after this, I'm going to do June's readings. I for anybody that doesn't know, I have several signs already up for June readings, but I think I'm going to um, do, well, my plan is to do all 12 sign readings. So the ones I've already done for June will be bonuses for the signs I've already done. I think I've done like six or seven already. Um, but my plan is after this channeling, focus in on the signs, channel in any messages I get on the signs. I'm planning on doing all 12 today. So like I said, you would actually have a bonus for the sign I've already done if you viewed that other sign. Um, but that's my plan. Now, will it get done today? I'm not sure, but that is my plan, okay? Just let everybody know. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, someone who once profited off of you through an illegal, illegal voyeur camera in the past they cannot do it anymore, and now they owe loan sharks um, a huge amount of money um, through many series of chain events. Violence might start occurring in this person's life soon. They want their money. I just heard they want their money. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some, I mean, this could be you or somebody you're connected to. I have been pulling in such strong voyeur camera energy, illegal business energy. Such, I mean, I pulled it in and pulled it in and pulled it in with a secret seven. Y'all know that. But then it went away for a little while. Now it's coming back with vengeance. So that's where we're at right now. Sorry, y'all. Had to get my travel bag and make sure I had everything. Okay. Isn't it cute? I got it for like five bucks, you guys. It's my travel bag, but it, it was only five bucks. And it's so cute and it's very functional. So, yeah, so somebody that once profited um, off of you through an illegal voyeur camera, I heard, um, they cannot anymore. So, somehow they have been blocked, or you have plucked it out of your home or space, or someone else helps you pluck it out of your home or space, or However, that resonates, but it is disabled now. It's disabled now. They cannot profit off of you anymore. So somehow they were making money off of you through this illegal voyeur camera. I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, it was sexual related, and I'm just being for real. For some, it could have been the, the case study energy um, through the illegal voyeur camera. But you have to plug it in however it resonates. However in the world, they were making money off of you through an illegal voyeur camera, I should say. But now... Whoever these people are, they're huge spenders, I'll tell you that. They don't know how to manage money, or they don't want to know how to manage money, and they basically spend, 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 spend. They love very expensive things, which we all, I love expensive things. Well, I love nice things, not so much expensive things. Um, I love good deals, but I love. Um, and I love to have nice things, but I do it in a smart financial sense, you know what I'm saying? Um, these people, I don't think do. I think they just like what they see and they go out and buy it. And well, hell, they have the money to do it because they stole from you. So why not? But that's not the mindset to look at it from. That's not the mindset to look at it from because one, you're committing charge after charge after charge, felony after felony after felony, probably in some of these cases. Um, not a, That's not a good mindset. A good mindset is earn your money the way you're supposed to properly earn it save up your money, and then budget correctly. These people don't do it. They don't do it that way. They don't see it that way because they're criminals. Their mindsets are completely different wavelengths than us that actually budget and plan and organize and set healthy financial goals, um, if that makes sense. Um, come on, baby. But I heard um, whoever this person is, and I didn't hear a sign on this person, uh, masculine or feminine, it could be anybody. You have to plug these people in, how it resonates. If this isn't your story, it's not your story, but it might be somebody you're connected to story possibly. It's a free general collective reading, so you have to plug it in, how it resonates. But however it resonates, loan shark energy is coming after them, or is about to. 
Um, and I heard in one of these situations, it's probably going, violence is probably going to ensue soon. Um, so it's that, that, like they want their damn money and the long shark, long shark sue. They want their money, period, point blank, bar none, which they should get their money back. But I think these people are street side. They're going to start ensuing violence is what it sounds like on, on whoever these people are that owe money. Oh my Lord. These, whew, that's why I keep them at the damn self. This, that's scary right there. These people are very violent and they do not mess around. These people are very violent and they do not mess around is what I just heard. So these long shark energies, they're very violent and they do not mess around. I'm feeling like, um, her take it. We have new beginnings reversed. I feel it's like mafia S type energy. And I didn't hear it was, but I'm feeling it is. It's like mafia S type energy or something of that nature. Um, you plug in and how it resonates. Some kind of mafia S type energy or um, gang or coven or something. Um, some kind of group, violent group of people. However that resonates. Um, whether it's a gang, a cult, a Coven, uh, the mafia, um, whoever it is, um, they're not, they want their damn money. They want it. Um, but they stole from you in the past, but you have now it's created a series of chain of events because you have disabled or somebody you're connected to has disabled this camera that brought them income stream. So now it's the energy's boomerang back on them. So now they were once paying, paying, paying this loan shark with money they were making off you, but now they can't because they're not making money off you. Someone is having a huge wake up call. Someone is having a huge wake up call is what I just heard. So it well, could be you having a huge wake up call if you're connected to this situation or you know somebody in this situation or about to know somebody in this situation. This is a scary, scary, scary ass situation, you guys. It really is, it is. Um, why does anybody get themselves involved with people like this? I have no idea. Well, actually I do. It's because of money. It's because it's because of money. Absolutely. But have no go out and get creative ideas. Do it on your own. This is crazy. New beginnings reverse. A significant drive-by is going to be significant in one of these. And the infiltration into someone's home is going to be significant in one of these. And one of these people, through many series of chain events, someone's going to implant a hidden camera in their home. And it's going to create negative series of chain events for them doing what was done to someone else in the past. Oh my God, there's at least three of them in the universe, I'll tell you that, whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. Being a channeler from the spiritual universe, you, sometimes you just get the shiznit. And oh, by the way, I promoted Cognitive Connection. She's a clairvoyant reader. Um, she's really freaking awesome. Um, you can check her out one of the, under the promotions tab. She is amazing. She's clairvoyant and she actually has went through a lot of negative work workspace situations just like I have because bitches have been jealous of her. Just like bitches have been jealous of me. So, and she's gifted. So I really, really, really love that about her. So if y'all want to check her out, just saying. Um, but yeah, so anyways, um, so New Beginnings Reverse, they're about to be stuck. They're about to be stuck. So it's three different situations in the universe, at least three in the universe. It may be more. For some, they're going to have some kind of infiltration into their own home. So I, I don't feel that's hidden camera energy. I feel that might be some kind of break-in energy or theft energy um, is what I'm feeling. Um, break-in, well, break-in and theft is what I'm feeling. Or somebody or this or these people or person or people invite them in and they steal or they break in however that resonates. Um, and then one of them is going to get a hidden camera stuck in their home. 
um, place in their home, someone they free willingly allow in their home. Um, and I heard it's basically the energy is about to switch. Once they profited off somebody else with a hidden camera in their home, now somebody else is about to profit off their ass with a hidden camera in their home. Feminine, feminine energy about to get the hidden camera placed in her home and she has a family. Feminine energy about to get the hidden camera placed in her home and she has a family. It's what I heard. A whole family, husband and everything. A whole family, husband and everything. That's what I heard. Dear God. So she's a fem energy. She has a husband and everything. That's what I heard. So she has a, she's a feminine energy. She has a husband and everything, apparently. So she has kid or kids, a husband and, but she was part of implanting a hidden camera in somebody else's home. But now it's about to be done to her. People about to profit off that family, basically, which I don't condone that. I just want to disclaim that. I do not condone that because that shit's happened to me. And, and that was before the hidden camera detector on iOS and Android. And I even paid somebody $350 to come out. And scanned my home, had my kids go outside, and didn't tell them what was going on. And still crazy shit was happening in my community. There was a CPS call about six months after that. The report was, I was walking around my bra and panties. Well, how do you know I was walking around my bra and panties if you wasn't spying on me through an illegal voyeur camera? Whoever you are, CPS caller, just saying, just saying. You know, I mean, it doesn't add up. The facts are the facts. And the facts are there was a CPS call and the report what it made was I was walking around my bra and panties. Well, how do you know I'm walking around my bra and panties, sir, ma'am, if you're not spying on me through an illegal voyeur camera? And that's just the truth. But this is a femme energy with a husband and child or children. And one of them is some kind of significant drive-by shooting. So there's at least three people owing loan sharks in the universe. So they're about to be stuck. Because the people are basically about to come after them. I do feel mafia energy or COVID energy or gang energy or something like that. And I'm just being serious. I didn't hear any of that, but that's what I'm feeling. Here it makes it easier to share I mean, I honestly, I don't agree with this, to be honest. I don't agree with this, but I'm not these people. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with, um, I mean, these people are about to get their karma. They shouldn't have done what they did in the past um, to you or somebody you're connected to or a loved one or et cetera, et cetera. But, of course, the people they're dealing with, though, in life, they don't do things by the book and by the rules, just like these people don't. So, I mean, you know... It was their free willing choice to, to mess with these people to begin with. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, no, I, it's not my place to judge on here. Strength, upright, ancient willing, ancient healing wisdom reverse. Complete utter chaos is about to go on here in these situations, all three. Okay, I heard complete utter chaos is about to go on in all three of these situations soon. And the, the family that's about to get this camera placed in their home, there are some very deep, dark secrets here. Very strange things are about to start occurring to this family. Very strange. It is about to em the it is things are about to start imploding from the inside out with this family. Very strange things are about to start occurring to this family. So this family that's about to start getting um getting it don't sound like the hidden camera's been placed in their home yet. I like I'm just double disclaimering this. I do not dis, I do not condone this. I do not condone this kind of behavior. This is terrible. This is really terrible. But these people are dealing with undercover, underground, black market, mafia s type people. So I mean, really, what did they expect? And I'm just serious about that. Um, this is scary. Um, I, I don't condone this behavior. I'm serious. But 
however this resonates it's upcoming in the universe but however it resonates i heard the family has some deep deep dark secrets i mean like deep dark dooku secrets and i heard basically the family's going to start that many strange things are going to start happening to them so kind of like when cps got called on me when i was and the report was i was walking around my broad panties that was strange for me but i think it's much 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 worse much worse much, much, much worse, much worse is what I heard. Oh, my God. So something much, much, much worse is about to happen. There's some huge, deep Dooku secrets. See, I didn't have any secrets. Um, okay, I walk around my bra and my panties. That's my home. I pay my rent. I, I'm not my rent. I pay my mortgage on my home. So I'm free to walk around naked if I want to, as long as my kids aren't watching me walk around naked. Even if they were, I could still walk around naked. Not that I would choose to have my kids walk, watch me naked, walk around naked. That's weird. But I'm just saying, I could because I pay my rent. I'm at my mortgage on my home. I pay a mortgage, not rent. But my point is, there's some huge secrets. I didn't hear what the hell kind of secrets they were. But this family's going to have to have, I heard the family's going to start imploding from the inside out. So they're going to start conflicting with each other, is what it sounds like, inside this family. Because problems are about to start being created because people on the outside viewing through this camera are about to start watching them and they're going to i think they're going to start they're going to know things that this family doesn't want them to know that they keep inside the home private which your private should be private and your public should be public but it's deep secrets so it's about to start causing huge problems i think all across the community or the viewers that view in and I mean, and it's just basically going to cause conflict inside the home. Like, huge conflict is what I'm feeling. So, this family is going to have to have strength, and the drive-by shooting is going to have to have strength, and the um, infiltra um, some kind of infiltration in the home, uh, somebody's home, whether they have free willingly allowed them in or not, whether it's break-in energy or free willingly allowing them in, and some kind of theft occurs or something of that nature some kind of um one of these people could be a leo or they could have leo in their chart or they're just about to exhibit leo energy because this is leo energy this is whoa my god ancient healing wisdom reversed These people are not connected with their spiritual guides, spirit guides, and ancestors. They're very materialistic and very 3D, and it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, I heard these people are not spiritually connected with their ancestors and spirit guides, and basically it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So... I t well, this is them not being connected to their spiritual guides and ancestors. Sp uh, source, if they're able to connect with source, um, well, spirit guide source. So they're. I think they have the ability to connect with source. Like I connect with source, clear audiently. Like cognitive cognitive connections connect is connects with source clairvoyantly. Like a lot of you guys connect with. Um, your spirit guides, clear audiently, clairvoyantly, um, dreamscape ability, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, however you do it. Um, my point is, I think they have the ability to do so, but they choose not to. I heard they're very, very, very 3D and very materialistic. And so meaning 3D is our 3D world. So they, li they just live it, live it, live it up in 3D. They don't take time to connect with their spirit guides, their ancestors. They don't meditate they don't reflect back on the choices they've made they deal with loan sharks they have hidden cameras in people's homes i mean they very 3d very but it's about to backfire on them because their intuition's about to be off so this is not them choosing free willingly choosing not to connect with spirit guides and source and um, ancestors and um them um their intuition about to be off their intu well, their intuition's already been off, and it's about to be off more. Um, and they're about to have strength to overcome the uh, situations in life because they have basically created it for themselves, is what I'm feeling here. This is something. Let's get a moon cycle real quick, and then I'll close it.
by the way, I promoted Hidden Gems Tarot on here today, too. Um, there was two very good readings I thought were very good. If anybody wants to check them out, I'm all about promoting um, spiritual uh, community. Y'all know that. I'm all about helping others. And they were very good readings. So if y'all want to check those out as well. Spirit messages you have with Michael. I heard take it. We have the unexpected upright. Number 43 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 43. It could be a possible age of one of these people or you or someone you're connected to or any other significant number in your life. Number 43. The unexpected upright. One of these people was wishing death so badly on another person. Because of inheritance. However, through many series of chain of events, someone is about to pass away connected to them. They think they're going to get money from this, um, this death and they will not. It will be somebody else. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So one of these people, it's at least three situations in the universe, but one of these people heard they had been wishing death upon somebody else. So I feel for some, they might have been doing death spells on somebody. Or phys physical death spells. For some, it could have just been mentally wishing it. But however that resonates, death spell, um, not death spell, they were wishing ill intentions upon somebody. Um, whether they were physically doing death spells or not, they were wishing death um not dead. They were wishing, yeah, they were wishing death upon somebody. But I've heard the mini series of chain of events, somebody else is about to pass away. Not the one they've been wishing death upon, but somebody else is about to pass away. And I've heard who at one of these people in these one of these three situations, they think they're going to get money from this death of this upcoming person. Not the one they've been wishing death on, but another person that's about to pass away. I feel that this person that's about to pass away People have been expecting this person to pass away because I heard this person thinks they're going to get money from this situation. So I think people have known this person was ill or maybe they're on hospice or they're terminal or something like that. This person thought they were going to get money from their will or inheritance or et cetera, et cetera. But I heard it's not going to turn that way. It's actually going to go to somebody else. So that's part of this person's karma as well. And one of the unexpected, uh, unexpected series of chain of events. Um, I feel chaos energy here. I feel chaos energy here, and I'm just being real. I feel chaos energy. Um, not so much in this situation. This is like a shock situation, in my opinion. They think they're going to be funny, but they're not. Somebody else is. But with some kind of weird, funky secrets, dry, I mean, a drive-by shooting? Dear God, that's crazy. A break-in, or, or are you free willingly allowing somebody in, and they doing something shy to your home? That's crazy. And some kind of super secrets that somebody this family's been trying to really hard to keep in but it's about to be exposed to god knows how many people through a hidden camera that that's going to create chaos because i'm sure the people in the hidden camera are going to use that information and maybe they're going to call cps on these people maybe they're going to call the police maybe uh, i mean our strange things are going to start happening so whatever the strange things are whether cps gets involved police get involved or something else strange. I mean, and it sounds like a lot of strange things are about to happen. They're going to have the knowledge and information um, because they have inside access when they shouldn't. So unexpected. Wow. Okay, that's it. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. Oh, Lord. Okay, namaste.